Let me ask you the same question. Is it accurate to say that the Bible has been written? Let's answer my first question. Yeah, I've already answered it. I said yes. No, no, no. Okay. Well, has the Bible, the Bible been perfectly preserved? Yeah. I would say no. Okay, good. So, okay. so, so the, the, Not hold on. So, 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 so just on the level, okay. on the statements that we're making, yeah. on the level of the statements that we're making here, mm. that I'm saying the Quran is perfectly preserved. Yeah. You're saying the Bible is not perfectly preserved. Yeah. On that level by itself, yeah. Do you feel like there's any implications on the fact that the Bible is not perfectly preserved? On the the, the fact that Christianity is okay. true or not? Okay. First of all, no, I don't think so. Okay. Because Christians do not hold that scripture in the same way that Muslims hold their scripture. Yeah. So as a no, Muslim, no, no, but that's not my question. My question is, you said no. That's You've answered the question. Okay. Yeah, all right. What I was saying yeah. is that this is just a, you can answer uh, answer this for me if you wouldn't mind. Yes, in Islam, yeah. is it the view that the Quran is preserved eternally with Allah on tablets? Is that the view? On tablets or a tablet? A tablet. I guess a tablet. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the Quran and all of the, the the texts, the Torah and the Injil. In fact, the conversation that we're having right, the conversation that we're having right now yeah. is preserved in that tablet. So all the variations, okay. as well of uh, so this is a very important. Any variant, yeah, any textually acceptable variant of the Quran is also preserved in the tablets, yes. Also preserved. So then it wouldn't matter if someone had made a mistake in the transmission of the Quran because that mistake is also still preserved in the eternal tablets. No, it would matter because obviously we would say, and this goes back to your first question as well, right? Mm -hmm. That the Quran is meant as a guidance for humankind. Today as well. Yeah, yeah. for human beings. So the end user is meant to be human beings. So if clearly, we would say if God revealed the scripture, whether it's the Quran or the Gospels or the Torah or whatever, that if it doesn't reach all the people in the same way as it originally reached the initial primary audience, then there's a discrepancy in the access to guidance that end users will have, which will make, which will put questions of, is God being just here in his, uh, you know, uh, a delivery of the okay, message okay. online. Do you understand? I think you're going on a bit there. Listen, what I want to get out. Do you understand what I've just yes. said? Yes, sir. What have I just said? Listen, what I want to talk. What have I just said? You talk about how there could be differences in. Uh, no, yeah, that's not what I just said. You said you said I'm going on, but you weren't listening to what I said. And I then just want a yes or no answer. No, I'm not talking about no, no. what you're talking but about. You, you're talking do you about understand? It doesn't matter. What I've just okay, okay, wait, wait. what I just said. Here to talk about one What's your name again, bro? Chris. Chris, listen. I don't want this to talk about. I don't want this to deteriorate. I was patient enough to. Yeah, I know, but you're not answering me. You're sort of. What question have you asked that I haven't answered? Give me one question that you've asked that I have not answered. You're talking about things. One question that you have asked me. What's the question that you asked me that I have not answered? I want to know the Muslim belief about yeah. the Quran. I've already told said, you. Is it true that the yeah. Quran is preserved eternally on a tablet? And you said, well, kind of. But And then you talked for a while about how all these other things are also preserved. Really, you could have said yes. Okay, Just say, I want the very basic Islamic belief. Why, why should I, I don't answer want your right. interpretation of what that Islamic belief is. But can I ask you, Chris, yeah? Yeah. yeah? Why do you care how I answer your questions? I, why no, are you doing, uh, I want why, to keep uh, very uh, closely to the topic. No, no, it's to fine. No, 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 but no, if it's relevant yeah. to the topic at hand. Right. And if it's edified, you yeah, said you yeah, wanted edification. You said yes. Because <laughs> yeah, the answer is yes. I want to elaborate. Okay. Yeah. Are you dictating how I'm answering I'm your questions? You can't then just go on a tirade about other things. I'm not tirade. It's not a tirade. Okay, so let's just let's be very precise with our language. Uh, be very clear. Okay, keep, keep going, keep going. What, what's the right. next question? So what I'm saying is, is it true then that there were reciters of the Quran by different codexes that had different numbers of Sauras in those codexes. When you say reciters, let's be specific. What do you mean? Okay, so acceptable like, reciters or unacceptable? And Abdullah ibn Masood. Okay. Those are the two I'm referring to. Is it true in Islamic traditions that those two reciters of the Quran, who I, if I understand correctly, are said to be some of the greatest reciters of the Quran? Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay. They had different code, uh, codexes with different numbers of Sauras in those Qurans. In the beginning, Ibn Mas'ud did right. not consider Surah Al Falaq and Surah Al Nas as part of the Quran. Okay. Yeah. And then he later retracted this position sure. at the time of Uthman ibn Affan mm -hmm. in the second legend. This is what Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani mentions in his uh, in his compendious work, Fath al-Bari. Mm -hmm. So is it true, in the beginning there was truth in the claim that Ibn Mas'ud, for instance, didn't consider chapter 113 and chapter 114 to be the Quran. But he later retracted oh, yeah. that position. 
Okay. In when the ijma happened or the consensus happened among the Sahaba companions. Sure, sure. Okay. So my argument then is that it is not viable to say that the Quran has been perfectly preserved if those who knew Muhammad, who were the companions of Muhammad, who heard him recite the revelation, yeah. differed on that revelation and could not agree on what it was. What is the, your definition of preservation? I'm talking about the Islamic definition. What is the Islamic is definition? Perfect. In other words, yeah, yeah. there is no difference in words. No, that's no not what Islamic definition is. That's, that's, not, that's not what perfect preservation is. No, 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 that's not what it means. Okay, so what is it then? Okay. It's your view that it is, no, 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 everything no. is on that tablet. No, 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 errors. no, no, no errors. You, see, now what you're doing is, you're poisoning the well. Right. You've, uh, excuse me. Been Chris, 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 yeah. listen to me. You're poisoning the well, okay. and you're not learning. Okay. I'm you're not here to learn. You are here to learn. I'm, I'm here to have a debate. Do you know how to speak Arabic? I'm here to have a debate. <laughs> 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 Why do I need to know Arabic? Arabic? Wait, wait. Why do I need to know Arabic? 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 So if you're not here to learn, and you, so what are you here? But you're not on. Look, you're here to learn. Okay. Did I come here and say I was here to debate? You're here to learn. Okay. So that's the one. Number two. Number two. Let me answer your question. Yeah. Don't just keep talking. Talking like this. Yeah, yeah. See, you're, you're, you're learning. Waffling, waffling, and waffling, <laughs> and then you throw it you're learning. <laughs> you're learning. That's not a way to do debate. Did you know that Ibn Hajar al Asqalani. This is now just, just breaking down into insults. Yeah, I'm not I haven't insulted you. you. Have I, I insulted you? I that have I insulted you? are lacking in knowledge. Have I insulted you? are lacking in knowledge. Learning. You are lacking in knowledge. I haven't asked if you have a good comprehension no, of the English language. No, that's not an insult. No, it is. It's belittling. He's belittling it people it's the because truth. this is his way of winning arguments. I'm not winning an argument. I'm just. No, I'm not winning an argument. You see, you agree. Yeah? I agree you're not winning the okay, argument. Okay, fine, so I'm teaching you then. Yeah? No, you're not winning the argument. Okay, no problem. There is no, I have not made an argument. I probably agree okay. with that as well. Okay, good. Listen, right. what I'm saying. What do you want to say? Okay. My understanding yeah. from the Islamic point of view yeah. is that perfect preservation means there is no change in any of the Arabic uh, word, yeah. word, letter for letter. Good. Right. Well, where's the source for that? Muslim scholars. Who? Okay, One Zach name. Zakir Naik is not a Muslim scholar. He's not a Muslim scholar. No, he's, not, he's, not an, an, he's not a scholar on this. He's not authority. Okay. He's not authority. Okay. Uh, not, authority. not authority. <laughs> I'm just going to keep naming scholars, you're going to go, not an authority. They're not, not, an, authority. They're not an authority. So they don't know Arabic? No, they don't. I mean, Zach and I doesn't know they Arabic. Don't Zach and I doesn't know Arabic, no. Number one, uh, first of all, he's, he says it himself. He, he, he says it in his lectures, so I don't know Arabic. Dr. Shabi Ali know Arabic? Yeah, he does, but he's not, he's not an authority on this topic. He's not an authority. He's not, so let me explain so who So he's not an authority on the he's earliest not, Quran manuscripts? Of course not. Dr. Shabi Ali? Yeah, he's not. He's not. He's, he's, he's an authority on Christianity. That's why he's done his PhD in. Yeah, he's he didn't do his. Did Islam he do it? Did he? As, well. as far as I remember, he didn't do his PhD on manuscripts and early uh, codexes. No, he didn't. You don't I'm even know what you're talking. Sure he did. No, he didn't. Sure he did. No, he didn't. Go and ask okay, him. Ask I've got his number on my phone. Do you want me to call him now and uh, do you ask him for you? You can, yeah. I've got Zakir Naik's number on my phone as well. I spoke, well, I spoke to him. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, 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 would you like me to ask him for you? These people that, these people that you're, these people that you're, excuse me, these people that you're mentioning, these people that you're mentioning are not scholars of this specific field by their own admission. Why did Dr. Yasakadi peer review? He didn't peer review. He's not, he's not an authority in this field either. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Dr. Um, no, he's not. I know him very, I know him personally. He's a good friend of mine. What are you talking no, about, sir? Do, no, Doctor. Um, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Yasser Kadi. Yeah. Is an expert on Quran manuscripts. No, he's not. He's not. No, he's not. Okay, he peer reviewed. No, he's not. Doctor. He never. He's Rube never claimed. Look, excuse me. He's never once. Uh, Yasser Kadi. Okay. I know him very personally. And he's very never written a letter to Doctor Daniel Brubaker. That, that doesn't make him an authority. It's a peer review. He that doesn't make him an authority. He works. He's a, How he's does a that make him an authority? He has a PhD. He works at right, University right. of Rice. Chris, Chris. He peer reviews a book he's an, about Quranic Chris, manuscripts. Chris, just to just to be clear. Yasser Qadi's specialism mm. is theological heresiology, yeah, mm. in the early days. Well, he's doing something wrong then, because he's peer reviewing. Anyway, anyway, look, I don't want to get into this. You've got that wrong. Uh, I know him personally. I speak to him regularly. Okay. What are you well, talking about? His, reply, his specialism, his specialism is, 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 is aqidah, basically. Okay, but he still right. doesn't reply on Dr. Okay, listen, uh, Chris, book. Chris, about Chris. About about Dr. Shabir Ali, by the way, his, his PhD is in biblical oh, literature. Sorry. I, I misspoke. Yeah. When I okay. said Shabir okay. Ali, I meant, I meant Yasser Qadi, sorry. Okay, look, Chris. Sorry, sorry. Let me, let me just explain to you who our authorities are. Sure. Because well, are I, you in a position to dictate that? Pardon? Yes, I am. Yeah. You were in a position yeah, to dictate the yes, authorities yeah. of Islam. Yes, I am. Because I, 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 this, in, in accordance with the, basically the view of scholarship, Islamic scholarship. So, for example, we have three groups of, you could say, the Mutaqaddimin. In the, in the Mutaqaddimin period, which is the early period of Islam, you have the Sahaba themselves, the companions, like you mentioned, Mas'ud is an authority, a major authority, Ibn Abbas and those guys. And then you have 
the Tabi'in and so on, of course. But then, in terms of written works, you have people like at Tabari. He's a major authority. Abu Amr al-Dani, he's a major authority. These are the early authorities. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me finish. Why, why are you... Because you, you, okay, you let me want tell you what, to be a lecture. No, I've made not, points I'm that just, you don't address them. Yeah, Chris, it's Chris. No, no, because well, well, the reason why this is important, right. your, your point was... You said, not been properly preserved. No, no, no. no right. You said that preservation means... Yeah, yeah. Perfect preservation. That no, there's no... Ver you, said, you disagree. You said what? what? Can you repeat said what you said? That there is no difference in letter by letter. Yeah, no not difference. But I'm saying no one said that. No one said I can't find people in this park who have said... No, no, no. Who cares about this park? This park is either lay people. So you're disagreeing with Mansour? No, no, no. You're disagreeing with Mansour? No, no, no. Let me hear that. I don't know what Mansour said. So for me to disagree okay, with that. I'm not going to take it from you. Mansour has said. No, no. Mansour is no not an authority either. Listen, listen. Sorry. Okay. So Mansour I'm not. No, I'm not going to say that. Mansour is wrong. You're putting words in my mouth. Be, be genuine with your okay, speech. Okay. I am being He's, genuine. Look. I listen, know look. what he has said. I have spoke to him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And I have seen. It doesn't matter. See, when I give you an argument, you say it doesn't matter. No, I'm saying it doesn't because what we have to do. So I to you that Muslims do make that argument. Who? Mansour. I literally gave. I'm telling you authorities, you're telling me Mansour. Right, okay, so Mansour is an authority. I, so are we authorities? He has no idea. We're not authorities here. Well, you just said you could teach me. No, 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 no. You're claiming Please, to be an authority. Chris, Chris. People no, 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 no. Scholar. No, no, you I'm, no, no, no one's good. That, that's so, a mistake. Okay, I'm not don't authority. call this guy a scholar. Yeah, don't, a scholar. yeah, please, yeah, of course. Right. I've never claimed okay. that myself at all. So let's, let's just Chris. get rid of this whole teaching thing then. No, let's no, no, just no. make an argument and a point by point conversation. Call it whatever you want to call it. Okay, okay, no problem. I'm saying there were early disagreements about what the Quran should have been. No, 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 Chris, your first point, sorry. No, no, excuse me. Chris, your first point was that you said preservation means mm -hmm. that it's uh, there's no change in any words. Right. Letter I'm by letter. Yeah, yeah. That's not that's not true. Bye, bye, bye. For example, so let, let me give you. Are you saying that? Are you saying that? Chris, let, let me. No, I need clarification. No, no. no I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is right. that the understanding of preservation, hafz, <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. the understanding of hafz or preservation is not. Mm -hmm is not that there's no variance. That's so there are variants in the Quran? Absolutely. Everyone agrees that. Everyone agrees there yeah, are variants yeah, in the Quran. Yes, yes. And yes. you all believe it's that? Yeah, yeah, Chris. Chris. Wow. All right. Chris, yeah. Thank you. Chris, yes. My argument I wanted to make no, 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 today me, Chris. was to demonstrate Chris. that the Quran has not been perfectly no, no, preserved. But, and you've disagreed. No, 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 Chris. It's, it's just, Chris. what? Uh, you, we don't need any more. You, you're, you're, you're either acting the fool or you are the fool. No, no, I only wanted to know. You're yes, either acting the fool or you are, you're embarrassing yourself. I asked you. You're Look, Chris. Add hominin again. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He just did ad hominem and he just said it's, it's not. It's, it's not an ad, ad hominem. Yeah. It's an ad hominem. See, again, he no, makes insults. No, it's, it's, he it's, makes insults. No, it's, it's, Why are you not capable of having an argument? I'm having he a conversation. He says you insult and you belittle. Uh, Chris, don't uh, belittle. Let, let, okay, forget it. I'm not going to belittle you. Yeah. Let's, let's deal with the arguments. Yeah. yeah? All right. Okay. Early sources. Let me give you the exact. Uh, no, wait, let's go back please. to what I said. Let me. Yeah, yeah. I'm going back okay. to what you said. Perfectly preserved Quran. Yeah, but what I'm saying is preserved. You are misunderstanding the word preserved. Okay. What does it mean? Okay, let me. George, like explain it to you. Excellent. So now, there's two views in Islam, what the, what the word preservation of the Quran means. I'm being very generic here. Obviously, there's more, but two major views. Yeah, let's say there's the views of what you call the Qurra. Who include and the Mutakallimun. So this includes people like Ibn al-Jazari, who's a major authority in uh, Quranic manuscripts and and the Quran itself. Uh, it includes people like Fakhruddin al-Razi, who's a Mutakallim, and others. These are that's one group. They say that in order for the Quran to be preserved, every single variant. Because the, the thing is, first and foremost, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the Hadith, he said, "Unzil al-Quran ala sabati ahrufin." So the Quran has been revealed on seven different uh, variants. Yeah, no. So that doesn't mean to say that every single word of the Quran is variant. It means on select words, there are more than one way of saying it. And the reason why the Prophet said that, just, just the background, the, the reason why the Prophet said that is he said that it's, it's in order to make it easier for a Shaykh al-Fani, like elderly people and other, you know, other people, taysir, lit taysir, for, for making it easier, more facilitated yeah. for people with different tribes, yeah. for people with different backgrounds and so on. Yeah. So, 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 let, let me just, like, you, Chris, I'm let not, me finish. I'm not just going to let you just keep going on and No, no, on, no I haven't on, finished. No, I'm, I'm yeah, telling two views. I don't need all the backgrounds. But please, allow, the background. allow me, please. I just need the argument. I, I, I know, but I'm, I need to, I need okay. to, please, just let me finish. But I know this, so let, you, do you know this? Yes, I've, oh, everything okay. you said so far, yeah. You, you know that, yeah? Yes. What so what, what's the view? So let me test your knowledge. No, no, what, no, no. I'm not here for a, let's see okay. who's no, no, better 
separate things. I just Chris, want you to make an argument. What is okay? Uh, a pop, pop, pop quiz. Make pop, an argument. Chris, Chris, make an argument. Chris, pop quiz. I don't want a what, pop, quiz. pop quiz. Why is what is what, what did the mutakallimun no, no, and listen, listen. what did the mutakallimun what is the, and the Qurra say? What is the interpretation the of the private preservation of the Quran? It's been five minutes now. You still haven't told. I've told you. Yeah, exactly. No, they, you started going about. I did say it. Well, there are two different Chris, views. They, okay, great, great, great. What you've just done there is demonstrated your lack of paying attention. No, listen. You're getting there. Just tell me the answer. Chris, you're you're demonstrating your lack of paying attention. Give me the answer. The answer is there's okay. two major views. Okay, well, very quick. Okay, Here the first go. view Don't is. Don't give me the background. Just the point. The first view yep. is the view of the Qurra and the Mutakallim, okay. which, is? which is that all of the variants yep. that are intended by Sabah Ta'aruf must be preserved. Okay, must be preserved. Yes. Okay, so if there's any deviance in them, yes. then it wouldn't be perfectly preserved. What do you mean by any deviance? So if I can find, uh, so Ubay ibn Kab had different surahs to Abdullah ibn Musa, right? And then, uh, no, 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 that, that doesn't count what you said there. What? What does that not count? No, I'll explain why that doesn't count. Okay, tell me. All right, so what we're talking about, Ubay ibn Kab, as I mentioned before, Ubay ibn Kab okay. and Ibn Mas'ud, both of them, yep. they concluded in the last legenda of Uthman ibn Affan mm -hmm. that it's 114 surahs. So they retracted their earlier positions. Right. Okay, but they did Ubay, agree. In fact, Ubay ibn Kab himself, there's nothing clear mm. to show that he believed in chapter 115 and 116. Okay. Okay. And if there right. is, he retracted. So I what I'm saying, that's that different. Well. I agree good, that. good, good. Fine. What so, I'm saying is, though, so that's the, two, the first view. Right, that's, okay, but if, yeah. okay, let's just target that one first view and then go on the second view. No, the second view, view is the one I take, by the way. The, the, okay, the, well, the yeah. first view I think is clearly wrong because okay, no, no, no problem. Yeah, no problem. You okay. can make that argument. Well, the right. second view okay. is the view of a Tabari okay. and the early people, mm. like Abu Amr al-Dani. They say that in order for preservation to happen, all you need is one variant. And he gave, a, he gave an evidence for this. The evidence he gave from the Quran is that if you uh, do a Qasam, if you do like um, an oath, that you have three options: either tahrir or waqaba. You either have to free a slave, or you have to uh, you have to uh, feed the people. You have to fast three days. Yeah, that's in Surah Al-Maidah, chapter five. So the idea is, they said that you can choose one or the other. So the fact that you can choose one or the other, okay, uh, is the same thing with the variants. All you require for the pr preservation of the Quran, the minimum requirement, is one variant. So, let me put this in. Uh, let me tell you the implications of this. Right, okay. Let me tell you the implications. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, for example, it's, 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 it's uh, commonly known, I'm sure you know, that it's Surah al fatiha the first chapter of the Quran. It says, yeah, we have two ways of reciting the third verse, which is Malik Yawmuddin and Malik Yawmuddin. Yep. That the king of the day of judgment and the possessor of the day of judgment. Yep. On this view, all you need for preservation of the Quran to happen is just one of those variants. So in other words, if I if I don't have in my possession yep. both Qira'as, yeah. Malik Yawmuddin, which is the possessor of the Day of Judgment, yeah. and Malik Yawmuddin, which is the king of the Day of Judgment, yeah. then still only one would be enough right. to be to preserve the Quran. And the evidence for that, they say, is, right. for example, when we read the Quran in, in Taraweeh, like in, in Ramadan right now, every day we read a portion of the Quran, we only really read it with one Qira'a. Some mosques, yeah, some mosques, some mosques, they do it in like many qiraas, like yeah, Muntada yeah, mosques. Yeah. However, like no, every day they'll do a different qiraa. Yeah. The point is, is that uh, the, the, the point I'm making is all that is required is just one variant. So my, if you're asking me, first of all, the, the issue of preservation, in terms of preservation, the conservative view of preservation of Quran is only one variant uh, may may exist, and that will be it. So, if, so that would mean if there's any other variant that's outside of the Quran, that's that's not part of the final, uh, you know, codex or whatever, yeah. that could have been a variant which is sanctioned by the Prophet, but there's no uh, the, the, uh, there's no requirement for it to be preserved from that from that perspective. Okay, but I think that in effect concedes my point, which is that perfect preservation. At least on the second view, isn't perfect. No, no, no. But that's the idea. That they would say perfect. Perfect is a subjective term, right? So we have to right, specify okay. what we mean. So yeah. What I mean by that, though, is objectively speaking, yeah. there is not a single authoritative source, but rather there are many different sources. Your view on what, how, whether they're authoritative is, you know, whether you accept the first view or the second view. But ultimately, if you accept the second view, then you would have to concede that it's not perfectly preserved because there are different ones. Yeah. No, no. I mean, if it depends on how you define perfect. So they would say that is perfect preservation. 
that's right. the argument. But that's, but that's, that's inherently not true. Like, no textual manuscript scholar was... All right, so the, 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 the issue... No, no, okay, well... The, the presence Sorry. of a variant yeah. means that it's not public. No, 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 but the variant itself is explained from within the tradition. Right, that's fine. You may, you may, you may uh, re-understand your interpretation of what it means to be publicly preserved, but from a scholarly perspective, they wouldn't say it's publicly preserved okay, well, because there are different variants. The word, as I said, the word perfect is fraught with subjectivity. So we need to, we need to be clear about, what we're okay, talking so about. so I'm talking yeah. about textual criticism. Yeah. When we're trying to figure out what the original author said and did, yeah, yeah. right? If there are different copies that say different things, then we would yeah. have to right. concede that it's not a nut. So, 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 perfectly so let me put agree. it. No, not like that. No, because what, what they would say, they would say that they use the word kamel, they, uh, which is the Arabic word for like complete. That's, I think, more, it's, a, it's an easier way to kind of, because otherwise it's subjective, what's perfect, what's not perfect. So, but, but, see, that's, that's, that's but, but what you could say, what, what, no, no, what, what I will concede, okay. what I will concede, okay. is that certainly there's a difference of opinion okay. as to what is the minimum requirement for preservation in Islam. Right, right. There, there are, there are right. some scholars, yeah, there are some scholars who say that all of the, um, all of the, um, uh, the variants must be preserved, okay, and they say, therefore, the 10 major qiraas that we have today, yeah. that they must be, all of the variants that the Prophet said must be within those 10. Yeah. Whereas the early view, which I take, is that actually that's not the case. That in order for preservation to happen, all you right. only require is one variant. Right, but what you're talking about here, and I think you summed it up quite well there, yeah. is that preservation, not a perfect preservation, because ultimately if it was perfect in the way that we understand it from a scholarly point of view, there would only be one copy. I'll, I'll tell you something, Chris, which I think you're right about. Yeah. Okay. When you do listen to, or on, a, on prima facie value, yep. when you listen to this kind of, when people say that the Quran, word for word, letter for letter, Right. It makes it seem as if there's no variance. Right. I agree with that. And I think that's a mistake on our behalf. Okay. That we didn't clarify that early in that's the Dawah. Cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, where people in the past, 20, 30 years ago, yeah. didn't explain to the people because this is known to Islamic historians for 1,400 years. You know textual criticism, for example. Uh, some say that, well, Islam doesn't have textual criticism. But the truth is, it's called Naqd al-Qira'at, or textual criticism of the Qira'at. That was there in the early days of Islam. So people that know this field, okay, they will tell you that actually there was there was a textual criticism tradition in Islam. Yeah, I, I agree that there was. Uh, I think largely because the companions differed about what their actual. No, the issue was, the issue was not with the companions at all. But they did differ about it, right? Uh, no, no, no. The, the issue is never. Let me tell you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you. Let me let me make the argument for you. Okay. Yeah. If you look at Sahih Bukhari, for example. Yeah. You'll find. I'll tell you exactly what you're saying. I'll give you the evidence for it. Okay. Abu Darda. Abu Darda in Surah Bukhari, he recites Surah Al-Layl, which is chapter 92 of the Quran. So it's, it's recited in the Tan Qira, it says, وَمَا خَلَقَ ذَكْرُ الْأُنْثَى Yeah? And who created the male and the female? He says, no, I'm going to read it, وَالذَّكَرِ وَالْأُنْثَى And the male and the female. So it's an oath, God has taken an oath. He says, I'm by the male and the female. He says, I'm not going to recite وَمَا خَلَقَ He says, I heard it from the Prophet, as وَمَا خَلَقَ ذَكَرَ وَالْأُنْثَى Yeah? Yep. Now the point is, is that on this view, on this yeah, view, yeah, yeah. you could say that. Well, in that case, there would there would seem to be a uh, there would seem to be a difference of opinion between the companion yeah. and the rest of them. Right. But here's this is where it's solved. For example, the famous hadith of Amr ibn Khattab and Hisham ibn Hakam. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me finish, please. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's on your it's on your point. I'm, I'm, please, please, bro. This is trying, a, but you, you, but you, you have to be patient. Please, just yeah. let me. Just let me say. What I'm saying is that Umar ibn Khattab and Hisham ibn Hakam, hadith is very sahih, it's, it's, it's authentic. Sure. That there were, uh, Hisham ibn Hakam, who's a companion, he was reciting Surah Al-Furqan, chapter 25 of the Quran. And Umar ibn Khattab, as he was being led in the prayer by Hisham ibn Hakam, he said that I heard Hisham ibn Hakam reading the Quran ala ghayr al wajh alladhi aqra'niha Rasulullah on a way that's different to the way uh, the Prophet Muhammad yeah, taught me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he said, that I'm not sure if you come across this. Right. Let me finish the hadith. Let me finish the hadith. Okay. Let me finish. Let me finish the hadith. So he got angry. He said, I, I got so angry. Yeah, yeah I've read this one. Yeah, yeah, and so he got angry and then he waited for him to finish the prayer. Yeah. He grabbed him. And he took him to the Prophet took, He took him to the Prophet yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Prophet Muhammad yeah. said, Hakada unzilat or yeah. Hakada nazilat. It's been revealed this way and it's been revealed this way. Exactly. It's been okay. revealed this way and this way. So okay. we're showing what? Right. Showing it goes back to the the, 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 the Umda hadith, yeah. which, or the, the, the main hadith which is unzil quran ala sabati ahruf the quran has been revealed on seven different hours uh, yeah beautiful different modes. Gr great you're, you're good you're good, okay. you're good. So, so my question is that it seems as if the early companions yeah. disagreed about what that was yeah but, but then, then that, that the disagreement was resolved by the prophet 
profit. It wasn't by the profit, though. Well, it, it was resolved well, by Uthman, ultimately, right? No, no, no. It was resolved by the profit. Because, look, you've, we, I've just given you an example. We can agree with yeah? Yeah, yeah I, I agree on that example. Yeah, what right. I'm saying to you, though, yeah. is that even after that, there were still arguments among the early companions yeah. who knew Muhammad him, themselves, who were great disciples of the Quran, and yet they had different understandings about what was Quran and what was not Quran. Then Uthman came along and standardized that Quran in your Sahih Hadith. So there's a degree of truth in what you're saying. Okay. The, the thing is, that, that, here's, here's the thing. I appreciate it, honestly. Yeah, there's a degree of truth. There was still, so some Sahaba, some companions, like as I said, Abu Darda, uh, Ibn Mas'ud, uh, Ibn Abbas, they would recite the, how they heard the Quran, yeah. which might have been different to the way somebody else heard it. Yeah. But as I said before, they are saying they heard it that way because it's on this harf, on this right, variant. Right, but then you have to explain to me why were they arguing about something if the Prophet made it clear which is acceptable and which is Okay, isn't. here's the thing. Yeah. If it was seen as that they are saying something that's other than the Quran, it would have been deemed as kufr, as disbelief and heresy, which it was never was. Mm. So there was a, there was a, there was, a, and this is why I say there was a degree of truth. Right. There was an atmosphere of acceptability. Right. Okay, but we need to remember here. So. Okay. Come. La ilaha illallah. Wow. Your Muslim people are here. La ilaha illallah. Come stand in their presence. La ilaha illallah. Stand in. La ilaha illallah. Speak to your Muslim. Speak to your Muslim. What I don't understand though is. Speak to your Muslim people. La ilaha illallah. Speak to your Muslim people. La ilaha illallah. I am not a Muslim. 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 Let's take two steps back. Take two steps back. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. Go to go to Muslim people. You liar. Speak to Muslim people. Liar, you donkey. Okay. Liar, you hamar. Muslim people. Liar, you hamar. Speak to Muslim people. Why are you not speaking to Muslim people? Eh? Muslim sent you to me. Speak to Muslim people. Speak to Muslim people. Speak to Muslim people. Why are you coming to me? Why are you coming to me? You have your Muslim people. Go to them. And speak to them. Why are you following me? 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 Yes, why, do, oh. why don't you follow yeah, go ahead. Muslim go ahead. people? So to me, it seems people as if they were arguing who substantially are not Muslim. about what should have been eh? in the Quran. Go to Muslim people. Just there's a hadith yeah. that says, okay. where it says that, Go to Muslim people. Uh, and speak to them. It says, O oh, chief of the believers, um, go to Muslim save people us, and speak to them. Yeah, yeah, we, we yeah. Go to Muslim people. Yeah, So no, no, but this is what you that hadith that you that hadith that you mentioned. Yeah. It was what not about the, the companions um, fighting within themselves. That hadith that you mentioned was that they said to Uthman, Adrik Ummatak, he said that, uh, catch your, you know, uh, Ummah, yeah, or the Muslim, Muslim people, because they can either be like the Jews and the Christians. So into, the like basically the companions, the companions, the they had a hierarchy. Why don't you go to Muslim people and talk to them? And tell Muhammad the bewitched man, the bewitched Muhammad, the mad man of Muhammad. How was Muhammad bewitched? Go and read Quran, chapter 113 of the Quran. So, for example, Ubay ibn Ka'ab had 116 surahs. No, but he did, like I said, he didn't. That, that's not an opinion that he kept, and that's not. There's yeah, no good. Yeah, at one point, he did though. No, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no evidence. Was reached. There's no evidence of that. He had two. Basically, there's a hadith where he complains that he he has learned how to recite. He has memorized 70 surahs of the Quran. No, 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 I know, I know. Don't take I know, all of what he says. No, there's no evidence. Yeah. There's no clear evidence that he took 115, 116 as the Quran. Yeah, these were just two du'ats that he put. Du'a al qunut it's called. He put them in his uh, mushaf yeah, at the end. So yeah. he was considering Quran, and there were differences about whether or not that should the, the, be Quran. The, the issue is, here's the, here's the issue, right? With the companions' masahif, for example, they would write on it. So they would put their notes on it. They were not meant to be the official standard copy. The official standard copy of the Quran was the one that was collated by Uthman. Otherwise, if everyone, if their personal copies was meant to... Uh, wait, 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 but this yeah. came before Uthman. Uthman took their copies along with Abdul, uh, sorry, Zaid ibn Kabir, his copy. True, true. And then he collated uh, with other materials. No, but the, 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 the first one was the time of Abu Bakr. So, yeah, the time yeah, of Abu Bakr, yeah, 634. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they did that because... Good, they were, we'll show you have some... Uh, yeah, you go, you go, so good. <laughs> 
what I know is that yeah. the first time it was written down in uh, Abu Bakr's copy, yes, yes. they feared, and this is again in Sahih Hadith, they feared the parts of the Quran could be lost. Say again? The parts of the Quran could be lost. Yeah, you're aware of that. Say again, sorry? The parts of the Quran could be lost. At the time of Abu Bakr? Abu, Abu Bakr, yeah. Yeah, but the time, at the time of Abu Bakr, it wasn't, I mean, they weren't really concerned, they're hyper-fixated about the Qur'an as a physical copy because there were so many hafad. People have memorized the Qur'an no, no, no. in there droves. Was, there, was a, there was a fear that the, that word you used. Sorry, I oh, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah I'm talking about oh, 634. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so what you're talking about is yeah. that when Umar ibn Khattab yeah. and Abu Bakr Siddiq were having a conversation and Umar was on the side, Umar the second caliph, Abu Bakr didn't want to do, he didn't want to even yeah, have a book. That's what I'm about, yeah. yeah, that's what you're talking about, yeah. So Umar said, no, what you, what, he made those arguments. So, so what I'm saying is that he made it... But he, he, but he also made an argument from the Quran. So the Quran calls itself Kitab. Yeah. So he says, because what, what Abu Bakr was afraid of here what, was less to do with the preservation issue. It was more to do with the fact that he did something, he would do something that the Prophet Muhammad didn't do. So Abu Bakr Siddiq, in order to not do, so um, Umar Khattab had to argue textually through the Quran in order to show that actually, uh, in order to show, yeah, that uh, that it was it was it was legitimate. So he said that the word kitab is used in reference to the Quran, right. and so therefore you can you can make it into a book. Right. Well. Okay, but my understanding though is that yeah, you're right. He was talking about how. Um, sorry, I my understanding of that hadith. Is, is twofold, but the most important part is that he is saying that the memorizers of the Quran are in fear of dying in battle, and therefore parts of the Quran could be lost. We can go. We can talk over the hadith. No, no, no. There was, there was that, there was that, there was that as well. Okay. But so, is, is it not true that there's a part of? I think it might be Surah Nine. I might be some other Surah where there was only one person who remembered it. I, I, I think it's a hadith where it says that we only got that one thing from that one person. No, no, no. There was what you're, what you're maybe referring. to so I don't know if you're referring to this. You can, you can read out if you, if you have it. But what I'm talking about, basically, at the time of Abu Bakr, um, when Zayd ibn Harith, uh, sorry, Zayd uh, ibn Thabit was commissioned to go and basically be the head of like the, the, the Quran and stuff. But also, he said that he, for each verse, yeah. there had to be two witnesses to each verse. Okay. Sure. So, so the, for each verse, there had to be two witnesses. Sure. So that's why w there was one particular verse because the Prophet had made a specific supplication where um, uh, where Zayd ibn Harith only took it from one person. But it was understood by everyone else. So basically, the Quran as we have it today, you could say that the consensus of the companions on two occasions were on it. The, the first time was at the time of Abu Bakr, and the second time was at the time of Uthman. The reason why it was necessary. Okay. Uh, the reason why it's important at the time of Uthman. The reason why it's important at the time of Uthman is because. Um, it was because Islam had spread right. to yeah. different nations. Yeah, and they were talking about how those further north and Sham and yeah. uh, Azerbaijan and these places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were talking about those who had their codices there. Their recitations were different from exactly. what they knew. So that, they, they said, get, get, bring them all, burn bring them. them. Bring them. Yep. You're familiar. Yeah, with yeah of, course, of course. So my understanding yeah. is, is that yeah. because there was a process of taking Quranic materials, compiling them into Uthmanic copy in the Qurayshi dialect, and then burning all other Quranic mat materials. There is a clear and recorded and quite honest example of where what once was considered Quran is now not longer Wait, that? Quran. Which one? Which verse are you talking about? Okay, so Uthman, when he collected, what was he collecting? Was it Quranic? No, materials? no, he wasn't collecting. At this point, it was not a matter of collecting. Okay. okay no, that, that was at the time of Abu Bakr. The time oh, okay, of Abu Bakr, so, so, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about Uthman now. Oh, yeah, Uthman, Uthman wasn't collecting the parchments and. Yeah, no, no, papers. Abu Bakr was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, well, I'm uh, Uthman, though, yeah. at this time when they were differing about it up north, yeah. There would have been codices Ubay ibn Ka'b al Masud that differed. He would have taken those and he would have also taken uh, Zayb bin Tabid, that copy as well. Are you talking about Uthman? Uthman, sorry, yeah, Uthman. No, no, he wasn't doing any of that. He were, all, he was, all he was doing, he got Zayd ibn Thabit again. Yeah, he did, yeah. And he got others. No, uh, he got all others, of course, yeah, there was a legend. All, it, was yeah, a it was called a legend, it was a commission. Sure, yeah? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, he got all the different Quranic materials. He then, uh, the whenever, there materials was was whenever there were differences, he would choose the Croatian dialect. Yeah? Okay, no, no, that's yeah. another issue. Okay. 
Okay, the okay. Color okay. should dial it, yes. And then whatever else yeah. there was left that was not in his copy, he burnt. Okay, yeah, no, you okay. get it. In a way, you're like right. Quranic materials. Was well, that, that materials? he burnt? Yeah, that some people yeah, would have could have Could have been some part of it. Right. Well, some okay. people. So, so, yeah, so that is yeah, yeah. enough to establish so, my argument. You're right, some people. the Quran, no, 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 but, um, we understood uh, Chris, by Muslims, is not perfectly No, no, but here's the thing. The Quran says, فَإِنْ آمَنُوا بِمِثْلِ مَا آمَنْتُمْ بِهِ فَقَدْ اِحْتَدَوْا وَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا فَإِنَّمَا هُمْ شِقَانٌ If they believe in what you guys believe in, then they're on the right path. And if they don't, then they're uh, astray. You guys is their companions, because it's the secondary, the second person, and it's the primary audience. The Prophet Sallallahu said, عَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي وَسُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَاءِ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَهْدِيِينَ مِنْ بَعْدِ عَضُوا عَلَيْهِ بِالنَّوَجِدِ That upon you is to follow my sunnah, and the sunnah of the rightly guided caliphs after me, bite upon it with your molities. And in another hadith he mentioned, okay, whatever. The, the point is, is, the point is that there's a difference between the companions, okay, who we believe God has given the stamp of approval to, in many verses of the Quran, but they differ though. No, 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 I'm not saying that. What we, what my argument is yeah. that the variance that existed within, within, yeah. the, the variances within the uh, companion circle. Okay, so there were was variances within the companion yes, circle? Yes, of course, of course okay. there were. Yeah. Yep, there were. Those variances okay. were acceptable to the companions. Okay. How, yeah, they were acceptable. But then they argue about it. But, I mean, like, well, after the Prophet's death. After the Prophet's death, yeah. yeah. Um, wait, wait, okay, yeah, look. Yeah, in 652, at the so, time so of the When you say when they argued about it, what do you mean by that? Can you... What I mean by that is, yeah. um, I'll get the hadith No, 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 no. Uh, do you mean, that, do you, when you say argue by it? Yeah, yeah they say, what was it? Oh, what, save what us, say? oh, save the nation, lest we... Oh, oh Edric al Matak. No, that's, that's not the companions. So, that's what you're talking here is not the companions arguing with themselves. This is Uthman being told yeah. that... This is Uthman being told yeah. that... Because well, Islam has spread. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. These guys who have new become Muslim, yeah. just learned the Arabic language, Persia, this place, that place, yeah? yeah? yeah. They're reading in a certain way, yeah. so quickly before they start reading it wrong and it yeah. spreads wrong, bring all of their codices, burn it and just have one standardized right, version. Right, right. So they were saying things that were substantially different enough to bicker about. Those people that newly yeah. Yeah, yeah, converted yeah, so to Islam, of well, course. Well, we already know that uh, Ubay ibn Kab and Abdullah ibn Musa, their codices no, we, we, were we, we, we mentioned, remember that? sorry? They were from, so... Um, no, no, but they were... They were I think Ubay ibn Kab may have been from Kufa, I think. No, 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 no. These guys were all at yeah. the time of the Prophet, they were companions. Yeah, yeah, those guys were. No, yeah. no, no, but yeah. I think we need to kind of get this right, right? Okay. What, what I'm saying to you is, yes, the companions, one companion sometimes had a word, mm -hmm. for example, Malik and Malik, owner and king, whatever, right, right. which was different to another companion. Okay, well, that's, that's the, the, the kibbutz. Yeah, that's what yeah, No, no, but that's where it comes from. Well, no, because I'm talking about the Ahruf. Because I yeah, think yeah. they no, 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 on the Ahruf. No, 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 what I'm saying is the Ahruf yeah. informed the Qiraat. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. But the Ahruf, I think. They disagreed about it with. Say again. The Arruf, uh, Arruf, I can't. Arruf, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I think they disagreed with. What? Who? Because they had different codices with different surahs. No, no, no. This, you, the point you're making about different surahs, yep. the numbers of the surahs. Yeah. The two examples you've given. Yeah. As I've said, they were reversed. So yeah, they're no longer later, examples. They changed their mind. The, the better I example, I'll yeah. make your argument for you. The better example is on select words. Okay. So for example, I've just given you an example of in Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. Yeah. Oh, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Abu Darda, where he recites it differently. I'm saying that he he heard it from the Prophet differently to the way someone else heard it, but because that's where the Prophet had it two ways. I agree. I agree. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Yeah. What I'm saying is that yes, I think that there was seven Avruf, but they differed on what that was enough so that Uthman had to come in and standardize the Quran. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the differences on the Ahruf didn't really emerge until after the companions. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. what were they arguing about in the time of Uthman? No, they weren't arguing. The companions were not arguing about they this. They save us before we become like No, Edric or Matak, this hadith, save your Ummah. Yeah, yeah. yeah people, Edric or yeah. um, Matak, uh, save your ummah before they become yeah, like the yeah, Jews and the Christians. Yeah. Uh, that was for Uthman to go and collect. And no, but who, the no, he is talking about the new Muslims right. that have come into Islam. New, right, right. they've just right. learned Arabic. Right. They were reciting it wrong. Wait, but the question is, is which is correct? And that was what Uthman That's wrong. was trying to establish. No, no, no. The, the, he took okay. on all the okay, but, oh, okay, I understand him, And then he was saying, is uh, this correct? Chris, is this correct? Chris, yeah. here's the issue. Okay. Those new guys that come into Islam, did they meet the Prophet? 
I don't think that's necessarily what that's referring to. No, it definitely was. I think that's referring no, to this... Obayib and Kab's co No, 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 no way. No way. Well, it would make sense, wouldn't it? No, why, no, why, it wouldn't. Because why no, wasn't? no, why wasn't? definitely not. But they have different levels of surahs. No, 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 let me tell you why it's definitely not okay, referring why, to why? that. Why? Right. Despite the fact that they're in that area. No, no. Adrik ummata qabla an yakhtalifu ikhtilaf al-yahud al nasara Which is that, right. this is the hadith. Right. That uh, save your nation, basically. This is a good translation. Save your nation, i.e. the Muslim, the Ummah, before they 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 uh, start differing the difference yeah. of the Jews and the Christians. Yeah. Yeah. This was at a time where Islam spread to Azerbaijan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. yeah. Now it was a new conquest. Yeah. It was a fresh conquest. Right. Yeah. I understand that point of view, but what I'm saying is though, the two companions of Muhammad who were considered master recitals. But no, 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 but they were not, had they, different codices no, but, in that no, area. Are you telling me that Uthman is referring to uh, Ibn Mas'ud? Well, he would have at least took his codex at that time. No, yeah. no, because Ibn Mas'ud's in the chain of narration of Uthman's codex. They both come. From, they both have the same chain of narration, and they both teach the two. Te they, they both. Te they both teach the same students. For example, Uthman ibn Affan teaches Abu, Abu Abdul Rahman al sulami and so does Ibn Mas'ud. So that's why you'll find both of those companions. The, the, the tabai or the one, the student that they have, have I identical Quran. The Qurans that they had, yeah. in their codices were different. No, I'm telling Uthman you they're the same. Collected these, along with the I've got reference, I've got reference with this. Can you show me? Yeah. So you it's, it's, it's I don't have it with my hands. It's not even in English. No, it's not in English. It's not been translated. It's, it's in a book called Tabakat al Quran. It's in a book. No, I don't know. Okay, all right. No, but I, that's saying. not fair to me, is it? I, I know, but you can't it's, use it as evidence. No, I can use it. No, I can't use it. I don't know. No, but I'm just telling you, you can. The thing tell is, me what it is, and Chris, I'll go research it. Chris, tell, tell me what it is. you have to rely on us to translate the Quran anyway. Yeah. All right, so why don't you rely on me to translate the source? I don't get it. But you haven't translated the source. That's the problem. All right, here's the issue. The, the, the book is written. Any text in Arabic, you don't understand it anyway. Yeah, yeah, so right. it's not fair. It's not, it's not, it's going to stunt right. the conversation. Wait, so what fine. I'm saying Just is, I'll give you references. the references, a book by Ibn Jazri, referred to as called Tabaqat al Qurra, which is the uh, the stages of narrators. In it, in it, in it, he mentions that Abu Abdul Rahman al Sulami was uh, taught by Uthman ibn Affan and ibn Mas'ud. That's why they have the same chain of narration. They have the same chain of narration. Right. I don't, how so, does that relate uh, to my point? No, no, because you, the point you said was, yeah, yeah. you said that Uthman ibn Affan. Mm -hmm. When he when he was being told, he wasn't saying it by the way. Adrik ummataka qabla an yaktalifu ikhtilaf al-yahud wa nasara that uh, save your nation before they come like the Jews and the Christians, i.e. that their, their, their books become unpreserved, like you admitted your Bible is unpreserved. Not perfectly. Not perfectly preserved, whatever. You admitted it. So he's saying uh, before that becomes believed. Yeah, that's fine, yes, what they It's uh, not all of them. But it's, uh, say for example that he said that, it was said to him. Yeah? I'm saying, number one, historical context. This hadith was at the time of Uthman al Affan, yep. which is some 25 years after the Prophet's death. Yep, yep. Yeah? Number two, this was at, when the Azerbaijan was being conquered. Yep. Yeah, and that's why new converts were coming into Islam. Okay. Number three, it's uh, uh, the, the chain of narration of Ibn Mas'ud is the same chain of narration of uh, Uthman al Affan when it comes to the Quran. So they have the same, they don't differ. And the evidence well, they have of, different surahs though. No, they don't. I'm saying they don't. For example, you know, if I recite now in the Quran, yeah, in the mosque, Hafsan mm -hmm. Asim, Af which is the most, uh, as you know. Yeah, it's a Qira'at though. That, that comes later. No, no, yeah, no, 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 I get it. But I'm saying that Qira'at yeah. comes from the same chain yeah. as Ibn Mas'ud. Ibn Mas'ud is actually the main guy in the chain. Right, right, that's fine. Ibn, but basically, I'm saying, what I'm saying to you is Ibn Mas'ud, yeah. if he believed that the Quran is 116, su uh, sorry, 112 surahs, not 114, then why is it 112 surahs, okay. not 114, sure. not Falak and Nas, the two? If he believed that, then why is it that the chain of narration goes back to Ibn Mas'ud? He believes in 114. What I'm saying is, at one point they argued about it. I then believe after that, after Uthman had standard. So you, you agree? I agree with it. Yeah, no, no. But I'm saying that. Do you I, understand that? No, I understand. But yeah. what it was is yeah. there was. Is it if, even if you admit that they did a disagree on it? Yeah, after yeah. Muhammad has died. Yeah, yeah okay. There's no authority to be able to. I, I would, I'm, which is I'm happy deal. to concede the fact that Ibn Mas'ud. Yeah. <laughs> Ibn Mas'ud at one point yeah. didn't believe that Falak and Nas. And Ubay ibn Kab as well. Ubay ibn Kab is more controversial, I have to say. Yeah, because it, basically his codex had two. Uh, du'ats after it doesn't mean anything. Okay, yeah, I know, I know that if, if you don't consider them a crime, you consider them du'at. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. But what I mean is, it's because people... I like the way you said du'at there. You said that was good uh, pronunciation. Oh, no, no, no. Right? That's right, I do, Charlie. You're good, you're good, huh? Well, what I'm saying is that because they disagreed on these things, it makes no sense to say perfect preservation. No, no, but you don't know what Muhammad himself would have said because Muhammad had died at this point. So is your is your qualm only with Falak and Nas? No, chapter no, my, 12 my qualm, my qualm is very specific. Only with the term perfect. Okay, all right. Well, hey, uh, what I'm saying to you is, if you say if you say to me actually. Yeah. 
yeah, infer yeah. what was like he meant, we have good reasons for believing that, right. then I can say, okay, let me, let if me, you tell yeah, me that yeah. there has been no changes and no variations, then I... No, no, no. We, we, I think we, you've agreed on that. No, no, no. We're saying, let me be very clear about my position here, okay. and this position of the early ones, yeah? I'm saying is that, first of all, when the Quran was being revealed, there were certain ayat yeah. that had been revealed in more than one way. It doesn't change the narrative but the, at all. Like, yani, all these qara'at don't change the narrative at all. The story doesn't change. Well, no, it doesn't change the narrative at all. How do you know all. that? I know that because I've been through all of them. Yeah, but we don't know necessarily what all those are far, do we? No, do no, 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 I'm saying that the, 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 there's only a, um, a, 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 a um, superficial cesspool of what it can be. Right. So what I'm saying is it's not, it's not that many things it can be, yeah? I no, I explained that to you, that's a different conversation. But the point is, is that the, the Prophet Muhammad SAW, in select verses, he said it in one way and another way, yeah? Like Malik, Malik, owner, king, it's not a big difference, yeah? Well, that, example. they came later, you're talking about the difference between what the Hafs would have decided. No, 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 but, the wars no, no, but what I'm saying is that yeah. Hafs and, and Warsh, yeah. or Nafa, in fact, or Asim and Nafa, yeah? Because yeah. Hafs and Nafa, and Nafa is a teacher, yeah, yeah. Hafs is a student, yeah, yeah. Uh, Warsh is a student, Nafa is a teacher. Yeah, yeah. Nafa would have uh, taken it from the two available options. This is called Ikhtiyar al qari So, for example, for example, yeah, Ibn Mas'ud would have told Hafs, uh, Asim, it's can be recited Malik and Malik. But obviously he can't recite both, so he chooses Malik or Malik. Both of them the Prophet said. So he just chooses one. So there is a choice, right. but it's a choice or yeah. with things which both the Prophet yeah. said. Do you I, get it? I think that you can have a way of knowing what was likely said and what was likely revealed in most cases, but I think there are some cases in which you don't, in which case it makes no sense to say that the Quran has been perfectly preserved. I, your, your issue so with that, though? I know what you're saying, but, but what I'm saying to you is you that... Say, let's go back to what you said yeah, earlier, because yeah. you talked about the two different ways. And you said there's one way, which is that actually if there's any variance whatsoever, then, then it cannot be kalam Allah. That, that's a problem. And then the other way, which is where you hold, is the view that actually, as long as there's one one, uh, one, 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 Allah. Uh, one of Allah. No, no, what are you saying? What, what was Kalam Allah? So you, you gave two options, yeah? yeah the first one is there's a school of Islam that says if there's any variations, then that's a problem. Is that fair to summarize? It's, it's not a school, it's just a, okay, it's, it's, well, a, a way of. What it, okay, it's an some, opinion. Some scholars yeah. hold that. Yeah. Okay, an opinion of scholars. Another one is actually. No, we so, sorry, say, say, say the first one again? So the idea that there cannot be any variations. No, no, that's not what they say. Okay, so what, what do they okay, say? Okay, the first group of scholars say, yep. which is the Qur'an and the Mutakallimun, okay. they say that all of the variations must be preserved in order for the Qur'an to be preserved. Okay. Do you okay. understand what I'm okay. saying? So if so, anything is lost or if anything... Yes. Well, okay. That yes. Makes, okay. So the second opinion that, says okay. that only one variation must be kept in order for the Qur'an to be preserved. Okay. So on the first view, I think that's evidently not perfectly preserved because there are things that I think are or were supposed to be in the Qur'an that are not in the Qur'an. You can make the argument. You can, no, no, you can't I, make I would, the, I would be convinced by it. No, 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 you can make the argument, but right. that's, I'm, I'm convinced with the second view anyway. Okay, that's fine, that's yeah. fine. I understand that. But I think it's important for Muslims to know that that first opinion yeah. is, is wrong. For example, I think it's quite no, I, I perfect, mean, perfect, perfect. No, no, but the thing yeah. is, they, here's my point, uh, Chris. These two people differed on the term perfect, perfect or perfection. Because the first group of scholars said in order for there to be perfect preservation, all the variants must be per preserved. Right. The second group said no, only one variant. Yeah. So for them, perfection was one variant preservation. Is there an example in the early Ummah, or among the companions, yeah. where they believe that the Quran as they had it had been perfectly preserved? When you say perfectly, what do you mean? What I mean is uh, uh, option one. What about the Quran? What you just said, option one. Uh, no, that's the point. Uh, ah, this is, yeah. That's interesting. Right? Yeah, I don't, I've not, so I've not seen that. I've, I've not come across it. Okay, so, so, so what I'm what saying is... Yeah, but what yeah, I mean is, yeah, I, I yeah. think there's, there's, a, there's a, a problem here in the park. The early, the, early days, the, the early days. Sorry, yeah, yeah, the early days, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. So what I'm saying is... Go on, go on. Is that Muslims seem to think that the Quran has never been changed. No, no, but we're not saying it has been changed. I'm saying that there are parts that have been lost. No, no, okay, that's different. Let me, let, let me come back. Your, no, no, hold on. One. No, 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 see what I mean? no. Let me tell you. Okay. Let, me, let me explain it. Change and loss are two different things. The sure. Quran, well, if we say, look, oh, look, kind of if we thing. say, if we say all the variations, all of the variations of the Quran, like when, when the Prophet said, Nuzul al Quran al Sabati Ahruf, seven variations, is it conceivable on the second view that every single word must be said in more than one way? Some say no, it's not, really, it's not required. So for example, once again, if I were to say Malik Yawmuddin, owner of the Day of Judgment, that's enough. I've, I don't need to say more I, for the Quran. I understand that view. Yeah? That's fair. So if, if, for example, let yeah. me give you a hypothetical just to make this clear. If the Qira'a are saying Malik Yawmuddin, 
which is what? Uh, six out of, uh, yeah, yeah. six out of ten, by the way. Six out of ten Qur'a. Uh, Qur'a, Qur'a. If Malik Yawmuddin wasn't there, on the on the second view, the Qur'an would still be preserved. On the first view, the Qur'an would not be preserved. Do you get it? I agree, I agree. Yeah, yeah. So I think the problem here then is that there are many Muslims who hold to the first view, not the second. And I just want to yeah, make that's it clear true, that that's the true. first view is wrong. Okay. Because you cannot say... It, that doesn't, but that doesn't have... Even if you go, let's go, that's no it, problem. I think that is it. I think, uh, I think yeah, we Chris, actually if, if, there. No problem. Cool. If that's good. Because cool. if you say that, if you say that the first view, which is that all the variants must be there, blah, 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 and the second view, yeah, which is that only one variant has to be there. What we would say is that in order for something to have creedal disproving implications, religious disproving implications, then the second view would have to be, would, would have to be the, the, the one that's attacked, not the first. The first view is not sufficient. The first view is just a view of some scholars that came after. Sure. The, 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 the ones who are closer to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, like Al-Tabari and uh, Abu yeah. Amr al-Dani yeah. and, uh, and others. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, they, they, didn't, yeah. they didn't believe that. I, they, I agree, yeah. yeah. It yeah. seems to me from what I've seen from the early Ummah, they didn't have the idea that there was some sort of, um, nothing has been lost whatsoever, everything yeah. is preserved as all the different ways that it was recited. Yes. I don't find that. I, I find the second view, which is what you've mentioned. Yeah, yeah. But so that's I what think, we, would, we would consider that perfect preservation. Wait, so let not, me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Wait, the, second, the second version. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you why. At Tabari makes this argument, and Abu Amr al makes the same argument. He says, for example, I'll give you the same example. For example, if I done an oath, yeah, yep. if I done an oath in Islam, and I have to recompense that oath. Now, when I have to recompense that oath, I have three options: freeing a slave, number one, yep. or uh, f uh, fasting three days, or feeding uh, poor people. Now, if because God tells us you got three options, one, two, or three, if I do one of those, this is how Atabari argues. If you do one of those, have I done what is required of me in a perfect way? Yes, I have. Yes. I don't need to do all three. That makes sense, but that's not in the context of. So, so, so Atabari, Atabari is arguing yeah. that this is what I'm saying. He has a different uh, definition of perfection. Okay. He's saying in order for perfect preservation to happen, yeah. all you need is just one qira'ah. Okay. All, all you need is one. Okay. I think we've probably done pretty well here because I think okay. I got I managed to get an answer out of you and I think Yeah, that, no, this has yeah, always been my position. I just wanted yeah, it to be yeah. more known basically. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying is it's better for us. Yeah. Because now what has to because the thing is now that the challenge will be this, right? The challenge on the other side will be to prove that any variation that has happened has not the source of it ultimately was not the Prophet Muhammad. So for example, Malik versus Malik. Owner versus king. How can one, how can you prove that that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when he was reciting Surah Al-Fatiha to the companions, that he didn't recite it at least one time in his life, Malik Yawm al which is owner of the Day of Judgment, another time Malik. We are saying the Prophet in the Hadith, right. sorry, I'm just, the Hadith says that Unzil Quran ala sabati ahruf. Quran has been revealed on seven ahruf, or you know modes, modes, yeah, no problem, yeah. Why the Prophet said for Taysir, to make it easy for the people, like the Shaykh al and so on. So some words here and there, which the Prophet said two, two ways, and the, the Prophet even said that he asked Allah and Angel Gabriel gave him those. It's called Hadith al istizaza yeah? So what I'm saying is, the, the challenge will be to you then, since we finished or you've agreed with me, the challenge is, can you prove that any of the variations in the Qiraat al-Ashr, for example, in the 10 Qiraat, or elsewhere, the source of it was not Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Okay. Asking the angel and so on. I, I would say that I'm not so interested in the Quran because I think the Quran is, is too late. I want to know about the Haruf. I want to. Now know I'm talking that. about the variations. I didn't say Qur'an. Okay. Any variation word. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. But we have that Qur'an because of Hafs and we have it from... No, what I'm saying is, yeah. my question to you is, yeah. how can you substantiate, can right. you say that any variation in the Qur'an that we see through manuscripts, through hadith, or through Qur'an, or through any other way, any variation historically identifiable, the source of it originally was not Prophet Muhammad based on this hadith. Okay. I think there are other criteria to demonstrate that second option as well. So first of all, we know from early traditions, early Sahih... Uh, do, you see, do, you, do you see what I'm saying, yeah? Yeah, I understand yeah, what you're saying, yeah. but I think there's other ways of doing it. I agree that that would be one way of doing it, yeah. but I think there's other ways. So I would say another way is if you can demonstrate that certain parts of what was once Quran have now been lost from the Quran, then that would be another way. No, no, but that's what I'm saying is, that's not true. That's only on you the first view. So? 
No, no, because okay. that's only the first view. But okay, so but you would have to have at least one one version of it, though, right? No, you're, no, you're no, saying no. As long as you have one card of it, no, 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 then it doesn't no, matter. No. That, that doesn't work. There's, there's two reasons why that doesn't work. Okay. Number one is because, as we said, some variations, yep. yes, uh, those variations were acceptable within the Sahaba and with the sanctioning of the Prophet. Okay. Number two is we believe in abrogation as well. So these two things are, that's why you can't say, well, it's mentioned here in this manuscript, so it's mentioned there in this book that uh, there's another verse here. Okay. Say, okay, I'll bring that other verse and say that's possibly part of what was originally sent to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Possibly, also possibly not. Yeah, possibly, possibly so for not. Example, yeah. But you know about the verses of uh, stoning and breastfeeding? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it is considered by some narrations that this should have Abrogation. been in the Quran. I, I don't think you're ultimately going to say that. But I don't see any reason to believe that's, that. But there's a hadith case. on that. Right? But didn't, wasn't there also a hadith where some people said actually this should have been in the Quran, but no, 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 you're, you're, no, no, that's not what the hadith says. Okay, the hadith it say? used to be part of the Quran, the stony one used to be part of the Quran, and then it was, it was marfu'a, hukman. But, but didn't the hadith say that now he fears it has been lost? No, 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 it doesn't say, no. It was, no, no, it's, it's consensus that it was part of the Quran. Okay, but it no longer is. Yeah, yeah, that's been abrogated from the Quran. Okay, so the, the stoning, the stoning, uh, the, the stoning, a sheikh, 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 so right. the, when, in chapter 2 verse right, 106, right. Well, that's what, please, let, me, let me just finish. Okay. In chapter 2 verse 106, when it says, okay. min ayatina, minha That we don't uh, abrogate a verse or, or remove it. We, we bring something similar yeah, or, or better. Yeah. You know, right. So there's a mechanism. Okay, for, I understand that, but that in effect is agreeing with what I'm saying. Because now you're saying, well actually, it isn't perfectly preserved, but that's okay because but that's what we should expect. What you're, what you're saying is, yeah. all you have to do yeah. is find an example of something which is not in the, for example, the Qiraat al-Ashr or something, right? Yeah to show that it's been lost. What I'm saying is that's not sufficient. Why that's not sufficient on the second view? It's not sufficient. Let me say, abrogation. No, that's one reason. Okay. Abrogation one. Okay. The other reason is because on the second view, not everything had to be preserved. Only one variation had to be preserved. Right, but is there any other variation of the verses of stone, uh, stone feeding? No, stone, no, no, that's uh, abrogated. That's abrogated. Yeah, but you see, that, that to me is just confirming. No, that's abrogated by yeah, the companions. They you, said you, it themselves. You, 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 the no, you gave me a challenge. I said, well, here's an example of something that was in Quran and now isn't. No, I'm saying so it's abrogated. No, there is no recitation of it. And your response no, but, is, well, there's a principle of abrogation yeah, that explains yeah, that. Yeah. I'm saying, in which case you're actually agreeing with me, you're just saying it's okay. Because no, but it's what okay. I'm saying is your criterion is not is not a good one. Because what I'm saying is the Quran itself says in chapter 2 verse 106 that there are some verses that have been removed from it or been forgotten from it. It says that. Yeah. So it's not perfectly preserved? No. You see, I don't think you, you understand see, you, what I'm saying. You, you, I am understand what you're saying, but you're trying to argue that because you have the principle of abrogation, that this is uh, a way of getting out of the way of saying that it's not perfectly preserved. No, no, no. But, but cannot be we're going back to a subjective uh, word here, per perfectly. What I'm saying is... I think perfectly means that there's one copy perfectly preserved. That's what That's copy. your... Okay, great. You think that... No, no, no. That's, that's the definition from textual variant of scholars. No, no, but I don't care what they say. Why should we care about what white men say about what perfect preservation is? White men. Yeah, white men, yeah. Why are you making a no, racial issue? Yeah, no, it's, it's, no, it's, 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 it's a racial issue don't because... Don't totally white or black, it doesn't matter. I can say what I want, sorry to say. What, you're upset about that. White men, yeah, white. What's the problem? Do you have a problem with white men? I don't have a problem with white men. I'm saying that it's just because, for example, a white yeah, man... If, says, I said, if I said we should ignore the opinion of brown people, that would be considered... I didn't, no, I didn't say ignore. I said, why should we be forced to accept a definition of a white man? Why should we be forced for that? I'm not saying you're forced, I'm saying scholarship. No, that's not, it's white scholarship. Western scholarship. Right. Why, why should we, the Muslims, we have, we, we have our own scholarship, we have our own tradition. Right. Right. Why should right. we be, why should we be pigeonholed, why should we be forced okay. to so accept our... Western scholarship? Pardon? Do you reject Western no, scholarship? No, so I'm... So you affirm Western scholarship? Is it a matter of uh, 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 rejection of affirming? Well, yeah, because you just affirming. said that why should we even consider no, it? No, 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 no. Let, let, me, let, me, let me be clear. Right, okay. Just because a white man says something, it doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, I if, know if a white man, if, for that. example, if I get a Cambridge yeah. Dictionary, sorry, yeah. sorry, if I get Cambridge Dictionary and I open it up yeah. and it says, uh, yeah. give me the word uh, fear, and it says the Cambridge Dictionary says the word fear means y, X, Y, Z. Yeah. The person who wrote the Cambridge Dictionary is a white man, okay? okay sure. You can see that in the back of the editorial process. Yeah, but, uh, now, I, just because you bring me that dictionary definition, yeah. I don't need to be forced to believe that that's what it means because a white man wrote it. Okay. So what I'm saying is, if you said to me, what I'm saying, you said yeah. the perfect preservation yeah. means this according to textual scholarship. Yeah. What you actually mean is, yeah. according to Western yeah. textual which is which dominated is, by white men. Doesn't matter if it's dominated by white men. No, so, it, no, 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 it's dominated I, I, no, by black men. 
No, it does matter. Why no, it does matter. Why, why should why should I? Why have you racialized this? I don't get a sense. No, why not? Why not? Is, is there a problem with saying white men? It's, it's, it's a it's a fact. You're yeah, racializing I don't care. 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 Call me whatever you want to call me. If, I, if you consider that racism, consider it. I don't care. It's it's a fact. Why why why? It's a fact. Why not? Why not just what? Okay. Would you accept a white scholar as much as you would accept an Arabic scholar who's brown? Would you? Would you accept? Yes, but what I'm saying is, I no no. Why I wouldn't accept? Wouldn't. Did I say I wouldn't? You said no, no. I said yeah, yeah. I, you, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, yeah, yeah. This guy I said yeah, he, said he thinks no, no, no. Went, Yeah, yeah, they went no, no. I think okay, you're, so you're, not, you're not listening. Okay. Uh, what I'm saying is, just because a group of, for example, the UN, they have the 30 uh, articles of the, what do you call it, the uh, human rights law. Sure. Okay. This was written by white men. Okay. So if you say to me, human rights is defined by the, the 30 articles of your uh, UN uh, resolution, okay. I say, for me, morality is not defined by what the white man decides. That sounds awfully like you're not trusting it because they're white. No, no, no. It's, why should white people have a, a hegemony what? on the rest of the world? It, it doesn't matter their skin color. No, it does matter. Their it does, skin it does color matter. matters. No, it does Wait, matter. Wait, does that mean that... It does matter. Why should a white man... If, if I was a scholar of uh, Quranic studies, right? If why I'm should not, a white man was, have... To... Would that mean that my skin color invalidates that? Did I say that? Well, yeah, you kind of said that no, white that. people, the scholarship is dominated by white people. It, no, no, so no. I, what I'm saying is this. No, let me, let me, uh, no, I didn't say that at all. I didn't say that at all. Did you're lying. You you're lying. You're clearly lying. You said you're that clearly lying. Western scholarship you're is lying. made up of the majority of white people. No, no, no. What, I said, is, what white, I said is clear. You shouldn't trust it. Did I say that? Well, it's on camera. If you ask, if I said that, then they, then you can catch me out. No problem. Go on, go on. Call me racist. Do what you want. Call the police. Call the police. Do what you want. Uh, oh, is it, sorry, what, wait, what, what, what are you talking about? I don't know, he brought it up, he uh, brought up, he said no, no. like white people. Well, like, well, what? No, 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 it is, I made a but simple statement people, and you took it, it, and you took it and tried to make it, oh, racial this and racial that. No, you made it racial by saying it. It is, um, I said, why should no, I, just said, I, I said, Western my question to you was one, why should I be forced to accept no one's a... forcing you anything. All right, great, great. No, no great. one said forced. Yeah, so that's all that's good. So in that case... Right, do you accept Western scholarship? When it's right. Okay, not, nothing to do with race though, yeah? Have I said this? Well, because you right? were saying it's dominated by white men. Yeah, no, no, but if, if white people talk about black people's history, okay. then they, they, no, there's a question here. Why should a there's white man... nothing wrong with people of different... No, no, no. If a white man about speaks about, about black people's right. history, for yeah. example, in, in Africa, they've never lived in the country, they haven't even... So they can't talk about it. They can talk about it. No, they can talk about it, okay. but they're going to have limitations as white people in the West. They're going to have the, those limitations. And we... Uh, the, the, let, only let me, because they've never been there, not because they're white. Yes. It's not because okay. they're skin colour, it's because of the geography. Okay, don't say skin colour though. Just say... Okay, thank you for your advice. Thank yeah. you for advice. Yeah, but Going back to the point. Uh, all right. No, no, hold on, hold on. This is very important. If I, for example, I... Should we yeah, stop talking about race? It's up you to you, bro. You're the one who brought it up. Let's stop talking about you, race you did, now, bring, you did bring it up. I said, why should I be forced yeah. to, uh, to... To accept to, Western to accept. scholarship that's dominated by white people. Yeah, why that's should I? That's, that is a, the genuine question. I shouldn't be. Why do I have to go by that? Why do I have to go by that except for that? I don't care what someone's skin colour is. Okay, good. I don't care what you say, but... Yeah, West, yeah. He said he doesn't, he doesn't trust Western scholarship because it's dominated by white men. Yeah, but I, I don't think he meant because of yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not the causative reason. Okay, it's so the, it's the, not race. the cause is not the, the pigmentation of your skin or lack thereof in your case. Yeah, sure. it's not. It's not the fact that you've, you're white and sure. uh, yeah. okay, the, so the, the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi told us very clearly. There's no difference between a white man and a black man. That, that, that you except know that they're in Western scholarship. Sorry, except for in Western scholarship. Because that's what you said. What I'm saying is, yeah. just because you have a hegemony, because Western, because you said On scholarship. Race, apparently. See, now you're forcing it up on me. He's poisoning the no, world. Well, that's what you said. You said white people. Just, white people, yes. right now... In Western scholarship, in Western that's what you talked about. Yes, yes. Right. If, we, if, if, if white, if, if, if white people, well, it could be black people, it could be brown people, Western right, people. Right. Let's I, use the word. I'd rather not talk about people's colour. Bro, like, I don't you, care. You I, don't, I don't care what you care. Well, I, I said my okay. statement, right. you can do what you want with it. Honestly, call me what you want, I don't all right, care. All right. Well, let's, let's get out Look, of this. Cause, cause the this the is point is this. Yeah. Perfect preservation, yeah. we have our own definitions of it. Right. Which you have your own... the scholarly interpretation. The white man's interpretation. No, the white man's... How do you believe no, no, there you have it. <laughs> I, no, I, mean, a, the, I gave him yeah. every opportunity to get out. No, no, it's, I a, gave him every opportunity. it's, a, it's a subjective term. Look, per, is perfect is, is subjective. No, no. If, if you it's not like two plus two equals with four. With textual variance, yeah, textual criticism. What does perfect mean? It means that there is one copy of something. That according we know to who? Comes according from to one who? Author. According to who? According to anyone who studies textual variance. Like who? Uh, any scholars. Give text. me one. Dr. Daniel Brubaker. It's a white man. No, no, why? No, that's, right. no, 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 hold on, hold on. Man, no, no. you're digging yourself you're, no, a hole? No, no, he's, a, he's a white it. Islamophobe. Yeah. Well, hold on. He's a, a white Islamophobe. He is a white Islamophobe who's appeared in David Wood's channel. You're, t you're giving me him as a source. So, why should I accept saying, this? 
There's it's no way she's accepted. It's, it's, it's academia. Right. Why do you not accept academia? What, because a white man wrote it, I have to believe in it? No, any colour. OK, any colour. If it was black... You do know that Dr Yasser Qadi studies, right? Like, I think he studies at the University of Rice, I think. It might be a different one. You're so not what? saying that you would accept him because of the colour of his skin. I don't right? care about him or anyone else. I'm saying that the Only word... Only if they're white. Look, excuse me. The word perfect... OK. Let's forget about race now, yeah? Yeah, so yeah good. Get out of that. I don't need to get out of that. I've said what I said. I've been saying this from 2012, yeah? I've been talking about... There, there, is, a, there is an issue with race here. There is an issue with race. No, no, because there's a post-colonial reality, yeah? Where white, whiteness is actually something which is a part of the uh, discourse. Whiteness. Yes, whiteness, the skin colour itself. In my country, What's where I'm from... Whiteness? Look, whiteness, your colour. Do you understand or not? If you go to a country yeah. like... If so you go to a country... People. Excuse me. Yeah. If you go to a country yeah. like mine, my original country, oh, I don't know that all right, which is Egypt, yeah? Okay, cool. Or you go to parts of India, yeah. they have a caste system whereby the, the lighter skin you are, the better you are. There is a racial element. And you don't believe in that? No, I don't believe that the whiteness... You are the better you are. No, I don't. Do you believe that? Or the other way around. Do you believe that? No, no, I don't believe that at all. Okay, great, good man. That's what. That's what. Yeah, yeah. That's, so, so, so. Is, why do you keep talking about but, whiteness? Because the reason why whiteness is important, my friend, yeah, is because. You told me it wasn't. Okay, no, it's, okay. Go on, go. it's important in some aspects. For yeah. example, writing of history is because, for example, in the colonial period, okay. a lot of the reason why people in, were enslaved or and or colonized uh, races okay. was because they believed that their race was better than that, that race. Okay. Do you not know that or not? No, for sure, example, I the transatlantic uh, slave trade. Yeah, no, when no, they no. went into West Africa, sure. part of the justification of doing that, Darwin himself writes in his book yeah, 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 yeah. that he thinks that the black man has a, okay. a, a fifth uh, a toe what, or something. What's this got to do with whiteness, though? Because it's, uh, okay. whiteness is part... Look, for example, na na Nazi Germany, yeah? Okay, sure. When they were doing scientific experimentation in the 1930s, okay. they were doing eugenics programs. Yep. Their idea was that the whiter you are, the better you are. No, the more Aryan you are, the better. Yeah, we're, that's whiteness skin. No, that's not. <laughs> you don't know oh, yeah, Bro, is, uh, sorry, but it's you whiteness. Know that they the mentioned that the blacker you are. No, no, no. I can give you sources for it, you, bro. If you look at what. Okay, so so you're, you're, why so, are we talking about? So you're, you're, hold on, look. look we were he's going, he's we were defending talking, Hitler. You're, you're, By the way, he's defending you're, you're, Hitler. I'm defending. He's defending Hitler. Yeah. He's defending. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're defending the eugenics program of Hitler. You're defending. Are you doing that? Is some sort of like. Have I said that? Yeah, you said whiteness. You used the term whiteness. I said white some sort of what? Go on. You finish the sentence. You used the term whiteness. And what have I said about it? And you said that whiteness was an important thing in the, it is in important the context thing. of academia. It, of course it is, because uh, there's a... a there statement. is. Yes, it is a racial statement. I'm, it's not a racist statement. It's a racial statement. Well, I'm I mean, saying that... It is specifically about no, white people. No, because so. there has been a history where white people have gone into yeah. black every people's country. things for every race. No, but that. they're doing it on the basis of race. Many people have done things on the basis of race. White people in particular. Western. White people Everybody in particular. Has. Everybody no. has. Western is a better word. Uh, listen, with all due respect, I made my point. I've said my point is this. Okay. If, you, if, if in the post-colonial literature you do find history is coloured, no pun intended, is coloured by the racial preferences and superiority complexes of white people for the last hundred years, I know that exists. Okay, if, so does that mean you accept or reject Western? I'm not saying that I accept or reject. I'm saying that, I don't know, I, I, I look at all evidences on the basis of the evidence, but you have to appreciate they okay. can be a bias. There can be a bias okay. that has to do with race. There can be a bias that has to do with placement. Are you saying geography. there is a bias on race? Yes, there is. I, I, well, historically, of course, there has been. No, no. I mean, like now. Yeah, of course, there is. There's, have you not seen the? Wait, wait. So okay, have you not wait, seen? Wait, have you not seen uh, many? No, no. Uh, one, sorry, sorry. Racial. Thing is, uh, ra wanna... race re sorry. Let me just answer your question. Okay. Have you not seen race realism? Race real. Re what is race realism? Race realism. Is it saying there's inherently qualities in race that are superior to others? Exactly. And well, I reject that, absolutely. Great, great, great. Beautiful. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Race realism exists. Race realism says that the whiter you are, basically the cleverer you are. They use IQ and other things to say that the well, blacker you are. It's any race, really. Uh, okay, no. Do you, do you reject that? Do you reject yeah, that? Absolutely. Excellent. Reject now, you reject that, yep. but you can't assume all of your peers do. A lot of your. Okay. Oh, I'm not I've considering. Never met a single person who affirms that, by the way. So, race realism, who's it upheld by? But by nobody. I don't know, like the KKK? No, it's not by the KKK. It's an academic thing, bro. It's, it's, in, it's in academia. People people right. equate right. intelligence. Popular view in yes, it's, 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 it's quite it's popular. Popular view, popular view in academia. Race realism. It's popular, yes, it's popular. very popular. Extremely popular. That there are certain races more superior than others. Yes, of course. Can you name scholars? Yeah, of course I can name scholars, bro. Name me two. I'll give one. Do it, one for now. Charles Darwin. Bro, very clearly, Charles Darwin. From now, hold on, hold on. 200 Char years ago. No problem. Yeah, not now. Name me one today. Name me one today. Um, wait, wait, hold on. Academic now. 
Let me finish. Not, I, I'm not going to meet your arbitrary requirements. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. He can't let me finish. tell you because he's lying. No, no, I'm lying. You can just yeah. go and write run race realism and see. You know, that, academia like is probably anyways, the least if you, racist. Place you think that, you think that white people right. have not been racist in academia? Is that what you're saying? No, but white people have been racist. Now, now. Yeah, there yeah, are, there are racist people. And that uh, racist bias is. But you're saying that white. You're saying that most or a popular view in academia right now is race realism, which means that certain races are superior to others. Yes. In the and you can't tell me two of them. Two, I, two well, I'm not an expert in race realism, to be honest. But you know this, though. Yeah, I know it exists. Wait, you're not an expert? On, well, okay. I'm, I've never said I was an expert. Yeah, I understand that. But you're talking about well, it why, so you look, know who these people are, and you're saying... Okay, oh, okay, oh, okay great. Sam Harris. He's a race realist. He's a race realist. I can believe a certain race... Races are better than others. Yeah, Sam Harris, yeah. Okay. So, uh, 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 there, there, that's I mean, very clear statements from his what he says, Sam Harris, mm. that he believes that, that he he hints at it very clearly and hints at it. He hints at it and in his public speeches, but I've read it in his words. So if I email him, he will confirm what you're saying. Ask him this question. Ask him: uh, Is intelligence based on race? Uh, is there is there racial differentiation? Sorry, is there is, there, is there differentiation? No, no, you're, you're is there, is there, now. No, no, is, is there, no hold, on, hold on, clear hold on, hold on. Talking about supremacy. No, no, hold on. As in one yeah, race supremacy. in its entirety is our, 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 race. our white people. Right. Biologically, uh, uh, are they biologically superior to black people in intelligence? Ask him that question, see how he answers. And tell me how that goes. Oh, I'll tell you how that goes. Tell me how that goes. But Sam Harris is not a mainstream academic scholar. He's, uh, what? what you think? You think most people agree with Sam Harris? Sam Harris is not mainstream. No, he is in his popular writings, not in academia. Well, I, I agree with that. As actually. someone who's looked into uh, Sam Harris, I, no, fair enough. Read the moral I, 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 I actually agree with you. Okay. Fair enough. But he is—he's he's part of the public discourse. Okay, I, I agree with that. Okay, fine. But, the, but but it exists. Ac academia it though. exists, bro. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not denying it Great, exists. Right. I'm so saying race it's, is not, important. it's not its not a big thing, though. You're saying race is not important. I'm saying race is important. No, no, I'm not saying racism isn't important. Racism is a horrible thing. It is important to challenge racism. What I'm saying though is that you seem to be inflating that with scholarship. No, yeah, I'm saying no, 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 no. You seem to be thinking that anything that is scholarly is free from bias. No. I'm not saying that at all. So I'm what, saying, what, 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 I'm saying what? that you, you're implying what, what that Western scholarship what about it? the Quran is largely through a lens of whiteness, I think. No, no, okay, let me, no, no, I didn't say that. Okay, I've never said that. You don't say that. No, now you've just, uh, you've, you've put words in my mouth. I put words in your mouth. You have, you have, yeah, yeah. I've never said so that. So what are you saying about Western scholarship on white? Western scholarship of the Quran right. is limited. Just like, just like Eastern scholarship of the Quran can be limited. Both of them are limited in their own ways. That's true. But what I'm saying is, the reason why this all came up is based on the preservation discussion. Yeah, and I said that based on textual criticism, yeah, the study of such, it makes no sense. No scholar would say the Quran has been perfectly preserved. By that standard. By, that standard. by who? Which you said no scholar. I've just, no, I've, I've, I've covered I've scholar. Is a scholar. So you're, now no, you're no, making I'm it yourself. No, I'm talking about today. Today. Why is that happening today? Because that's you. you okay, for academia, you talk about the so latest. Does that, does that have to be non-Muslim scholars? No, it could be any Muslim. Okay, Masaf Tayyar. Masaf Tayyar is perfectly right. preserved. He's, he's a huge scholar. He's written on the topic. Expert on textual criticism. He's one of the biggest experts. What are you talking about? You, you have to wait and see. Go on. Uh, quite a few things. Go on. Main topic. Islam uh, and the preservation of the Quran. Let's Keep going. What I'm saying is that uh, scholars will not say perfect preservation, and the reason they wouldn't say What do they, they mean by perfect? Right, right. Because uh, I think we're running around in circles here, bro. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. What, uh, two plus two equals four. I'll tell you what. How about you make a final statement? Okay, fine. Final fine, statement, fine. And then we end it there. You happy with that? Okay, yeah, let's, fi let's finish it. Do you want to go first? All right. I'll go first. You go first. Go first. Okay. Go first. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that it makes no sense for Muslims in the park or anywhere to say that the Quran has been perfectly preserved. Why? Because there are a, there was no understanding in the early Ummah that the Quran was perfectly preserved, letter by letter, dot, 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 dot by dot. Instead, what Muslims believe now is wrong. Perfect preservation isn't true. Muhammad has actually demonstrated through his view, his second view, that he doesn't believe that. And that he said that there are some scholars who believe that um, nothing should be lost from the from the Quran, because if something is lost, then that would illustrate that it has been uh, not perfectly preserved. But that first view should not be held by Muslims. Rather, you should be honest and say yes. There may be some cases where we have lost certain parts of it, but we have others, as Muhammad said, on the second option, and that is fine. This is the main part I wanted to talk to Mohammed about, and I think you've clarified that, and I'm happy that you understand. All right, thanks. Uh, there's a few things I want to, to say. First and foremost, 
when it comes to where we started this discussion, we started the discussion, he said that Muslims believe, do you believe that the Quran is word for word, there's no differences, there's no change. I say that. That's because I've heard Muslims say that. Have you, why, yeah. you finished your conclusion? Sorry, now it's my yeah, turn, yeah? yeah? So I'm saying is that you've heard Muslims say it, popular speakers or whatever. I'm saying that we as Muslims believe that there are variants within some words of the Quran that are sanctioned by the Prophet, whereby the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, Unzil Quran ala sabati ahruf. The Quran, the Quran has been revealed on seven different modes. So, which means to say that each word can have differences up to seven, according to Musa Tayyar's view, actually. He says that, uh, so you can't have those differences. Now, those differences go back to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The reason for them is taysir. Yeah? The minimum requirement for preservation, according to Al-Tabari, Abu Amr al-Dani, and many others, is that only one variation of the Quran, for example, as to recite Malik rather than Malik, not the opposite, or, or no, not king, is required. Therefore, the existence of other things, or manuscripts, or hadith, or any other thing, which would seemingly indicate Quranic content, which is not Quranic, uh, on the second view, which the Tabar is view and the early people, would be possibly Quranic, but not actually Quranic, because it does not fulfill the actual criterion. The criterion, by the way, for Quranicness is that it has to have a chain going back to the Prophet from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It has to be in the Codex, and also that it has to be in line with the Arabic language. This is a triangulated preservation. So in order for the challenge that I put to Chris, was that in order for someone to say that the Quran has not been preserved, on this view, they would have to show why it is that, or how it could be that those variants don't go back to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's the only task you have. If you can show that, for example, Malik, owner of the Day of Judgment, Malik Yawm versus Malik Yawm Malik Yawm being the king, if you can show that those two things the source of them is not Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but in, in fact, some other source, then you have an argument against the preservation of the Quran. Then you spoke for at length about perfection or perfect preservation. I said that perfect is a word fraught with subjectivity. We can't rely on the dictionaries of the Western people, yeah? or the uh, so-called scholarship of Quranic experts in the recent times of what perfect, even that, I don't think, they don't speak in the ways that you spoke. You have not mentioned one source. But having said that, what we consider per perfect on the second view is that one variant is preserved throughout the Quranic script. And from that perspective, we do think the Quran is perfectly preserved. So it's not true to say, from our perspective, we don't believe the Quran is perfect. We believe the Quran is perfectly preserved. Any variant goes back to the Prophet. In order to prove, disprove this point, you have to show that this this variant has not come from the Prophet. Okay. That's done now. We're done now. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.